Let's take a look at drawing plans and elevations. So here we are drawing a plan. Now a plan is the bird's eye view, so a view from above. So if you're looking from above at this shape, all you're gonna see is this square here, this square here, this square here, and this square here. You won't see the front or any of the sides or the back, just four squares in an L shape. So the plan would look like this. Now onto the front elevation, you just got to imagine you're looking at this, we're told this is the front, so we're looking at it from the front. So therefore we will only see this square here, the full square here and this square here. We won't see the top, we won't see the sides and we won't see the back. So we will simply see three squares in a line. So the front elevation will look like this. The side elevation, all we are seeing is the side. So that is this square here and this square here. We will not see the top or, uh, or the front or the back. So all we will see is two squares next to each other. So the side elevation will look like this. So let's take a look at drawing plans and, and elevations of complex shapes. So here we ha have to draw, well, there's no actual question, but what we're going to do is to draw a plan view of this shape. So what we know is one square is one foot. So that's nice and easy. So we're doing an eight by 10 rectangle. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So here is my rectangle. Obviously you'd use a pencil and a ruler, which would make it a little bit more uh, neat and tidy. And we know it's eight across the bottom and four across the top. Now it looks like it's a symmetrical shape. The difference between eight foot and four foot is four foot. So therefore it's gonna be two foot from here to here and another two foot from there to there. So the rectangle on top is going to start um, two foot in on each side. So it's gonna be somewhere along these lines. Now we've got 10 foot across um, the, the other dimension of the base here and five across here. So that is a difference of five. And I think we just need to assume that it's two and a half each side and that this is a symmetrical shape. So what I'm gonna do is just count two and a half, one, two and a half to here and one, two and a half from here. So therefore where these X's or well, these points intersect, these will be the corners of this uh, rectangle on top. So now all I have to do is just simply join these up. So I've got the inner rectangle and the outside rectangle as well. And now all I need to do, if, you, if I'm looking at this sort of, well, it's not a pyramid, but it's kind of similar to a pyramid. It's got the top chopped off. But if you were looking um, at the plan of a pyramid, you would see some lines going into the corners. So what we have to do now is just draw the lines from the corner of the top rectangle to the corner of the bottom rectangle, like so. Again, a lot easier with a pencil and a ruler. And now we've done a perfect plan of this shape here.